Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Like the description said, up there, down here, or wherever it is, um, this video, everything about it's wrong. Yeah, we're not really doing anything serious on this particular video. It's just fun, it's lighthearted, it's designed to make you laugh. So, don't be so serious, or if you want to, you know, be as serious as you want. Put it down in the comments. This is a good time. We just basically got with all our buddies and uh, wanted to do something different and hopefully uh, the comedic relief there, you guys will like it. Or you won't, and you'll tell us about that too. Let's see how this goes. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm here with Kenny. Kenny, tell me about your invention. You were telling me about you invented you invented this uh, this apparatus here in the front of the truck, and you've been selling them like hotcakes. It's an auxiliary ladder to help you get up on the docks so you can get up there, talk to the dock workers, and have them get your stuff off the trailer in a timely manner rather than risking jumping up on our dock. Get yourself a nice auxiliary step to get up there. That's such a great idea. I mean, because those those those, those deals, they're up here and you can really, you can hurt yourself. Right, correct. And so this way you can pull your truck right up to the dock, climb up this thing, yell whatever you gotta do to get their attention and tell them to get the crap out of the trailer. Yep, as fast as they can because you got more deliveries to make. That's awesome. Thanks for showing us that. That's a great, that's a great idea. How many millions of dollars have you made off of this invention since you, you've done it? Do you like, mind telling us? It, it's over 10 million so far. Wow. You think I could get a loan later? Possibly. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> wow. One really cool thing I noticed. I mean, this thing's obviously fast. It's got racing seat belts in it. But what's the what's the big belt for? I, I was engineer of the month over there at uh, you know, on the project there with Western Star. Yeah. Engineer of the month. And they gave you the that, they gave you a belt. So I won the belt. Yeah. Okay. So I found the owner of the truck. This is a beautiful, beautiful. And this is. This is a Western Star, right? Uh, well, yeah, it's a prototype Western Star, so I can't officially say it's a Western Star, but it's a prototype Western Man, Star. Man, how do you yeah. how do you get to, like this thing? Ain't even supposed to be out till next year. It's not. No, that's why I'm not supposed to say it's a Western Star prototype. So don't don't wow. tell anyone. Gosh, man. Yeah. That's 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 pretty lucky. Yeah. So your name is? My name's Jack. Jack. J this is Jack. He's the owner of this beautiful prototype Western Star, one of a kind, definitely one off. You're not going to see anything like this here. I, I love no. the purple paint. No. It looks great. Yep, it's a Mayhoffer special. Jack Mayhoffer. Jack Mayhoffer. Mayhoffer special. Yeah. Yep. Oh, nice. We, we put a lot of engineering time into this. Okay. Yeah. So, so what? What specifically? Like, what did you build this thing to haul? Well, you know, it's a it's a big industry down here in Florida, and you just you cannot be guaranteed that you're gonna have good boating weather uh -huh. so we haul a lot of sailboat fuel so sailboat we, we, fuel. yeah we're, we're able to get it in the trailer and and cover it up so it can't escape and nobody can know what we have because that's people steal that all the time you know and you know a, and you know like the security thing, is, thing i've heard that i heard that stuff's really hard to strap down it, it's tight i mean like you have to know what you're doing or you'll lose it what kind of ratings do you have to have to haul sailboat fuel it's top secret you, I, i'm not allowed to say it Wow. Yeah, it's so it's like a it's like a government thing where you, you just you, we can't talk about it really a lot. So wow, that's yeah. pretty cool. So it's a neat it's a neat profession because yeah. it's like it's top secret. The it top took, secret's always fun. Yeah, that's I, that's always fun. Yeah. I, well, I had a 13 day training course just to do it. I mean, Holy it was serious God. stuff. Wow. How can serious. you focus on something for 13 days straight? I, honestly, I was a nervous wreck. I, I don't even know how I made it through. Wow. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the engine. Well, it's uh again it's it's prototype so like. You know, there's a lot of secrets that I'm not allowed to share, but the, the coolest thing is, is it just runs on oxygen, you know? And that's why, like, if I ever get low, I, I do steal a little bit of my cargo. So it actually works out great that way, you know, but shh, just don't go. Well, we won't, we won't put that part yeah, on no, the video. No, no, no. Okay. No, yeah, that's, it, it's pretty special. That's like, like the first oxygen yeah. motor, running right. motor ever, isn't it? Like, yeah. I've never heard of that. But the, well, the you greatest know, thing is, is then it smells like gumballs when it runs so like wow nobody would even nobody would even expect it you know wow. the best yeah. part about an oxygen ran engine is there's a there's a there's a tube in the passenger seat so when you bring someone with you and you're low on power and you're running up a hill they just blow in the tube as hard as they can it's it's, it's, it's almost like a backup turbo yeah it's wow. almost like that that's awesome yeah well thanks for showing us your truck yeah, really appreciate it absolutely yeah, yeah that's, that's cool remember Thank you. Most of this is secretive, so don't. We won't. We won't. Don't let that, it out. We won't, we won't don't, put the video out. Yeah, don't we're let gonna, it out. We're okay. gonna edit out as much yeah, as we can. Yeah. Right, yeah. So. Thanks. Have a, a good day. Of, it's gonna need a lot of bleeps. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you later. <laughs> Dan out of Florida. Dan from Florida. Nice. Yep. So one of the things I noticed on this truck, and I haven't seen it on a lot of trucks before, is you've got these big chrome tubes right here. They're like, uh, you'll notice, guys, they're the big, big chrome tubes. What a 
did you put those on there for? What do they do? So, they're custom breathers. You run the motor backwards, suck air from the top. Right. Better air up there. It's cooler air makes it. Absolutely. What kind of horsepower are you getting out of that? 250. Extra horsepower? Total. Total horsepower. Yeah, wow, I bet this thing's pretty fast. About 40. 40 miles an hour? Top so, speed. So, you've been trucking with this thing for a long time? A couple weeks. Okay. So. Do you get your CDL? Uh, not yet, but I'm training in progress. Training. First of all, everybody, welcome to the Big Iron Classic here. Having a nice drink. Uh, beautiful sunny day here in Minnesota. Uh, you'd never know it was April. You'd think it'd be snowing here. Yeah, because it typically snows in April in, in Minnesota, right? Yeah. Are we in Minnesota, are we in Minnesota right I now? I mean, we're at the Big Iron Classic. Oh, this is Big Iron Classic. Yep. We're in, in Casson, Minnesota. In Casson. Minnesota. Minnesota. Yep. Yep. Cassie, yep. Yeah, we transplanted a few po uh, palm trees here. Yep. I want to tell you about my 2.2 Dodge uh, Dodge uh, Omni engine right here. That's a 2.2. That's liter? a 2.2 liter. Big Turbo. leaders. Holy smokes! Yeah. I've never seen one in person before. That's pretty wild. Everyone knows freight shakers. I think it's a, a truck, a freight right. liner. It's yep. not really a freight shaker. We invented the world's first freight shaker. Can you and show us? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I mean, through years of research, we've had to go along and find out exactly what frequency, what size of these units you have to use. And you, and, what, what does and it shake? It, it shakes the freight to the okay. back of the trailer, but also what so it can like do. So it's like self-unloading? Yes, it will okay. be self-unloading, but then if you're hauling the right stuff, right. produce, vegetables, uh, mainly lettuce, tomatoes, carrots, cheese, you know. All the things you need to make a salad. You can mix the salad together and it takes really? the right frequency to do that believe it or not it's like a speaker box though it, it does it, okay. it's crazy but these down here actually work much better on lettuce okay and then we found that like tomatoes and things these work better these on are those. better yes yeah. is it a certain frequency you have to use yeah there's certain songs that we have to play right it sounds like music but really we're just mixing salad really i gotta the go whole the time. Thing. it's it's crazy Dang. does it help with unloading it Yes, because back here you can unload the doors and then you get fresh mixed salad straight okay. out the back. That is super cool. It's the craziest thing. So how many how much money have you made off of this invention? Have y'all made a bunch of these so far? We made fourteen dollars so far. But it's not too bad. Yeah, so it's, you're it's moving a startup up. cost. You know, startup cost, you know, around probably three quarters of a million, you make fourteen. Yeah. But it's getting close. You're, you're getting there. We're getting, you're getting closer. There. You're, yes, getting, we're, you're getting, getting close to the break even line. You're feeling you know, good yes, about it. Yes, yes. People need to know about it. And hopefully right. when they see this video, maybe you'll get a lot more customers. I hope so, yeah. We're, we're sure hoping so. Really appreciate it. We appreciate Great your invention. time. Yes, thank, you. thank you. Man, awesome. Awesome thank invention. You. All right, I found the owner to this beautiful red. That, uh, this, this is a Freightliner, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. This Freightliner. What? The, I've never seen this size sleeper before. Like, how did how do they sleep in this truck? It's called an ultra sleeper. Okay. They let me show you how you sleep in. Okay. It's the stock door handles. Okay, so if you lay strategically, you can have your legs on this side. Right. And you can curve around the shifter and on the floor. You sleep oh, like nice. a baby. Sleep like a baby. Nice. And this is your truck you drive it every day? Every day. Every day. And you uh, own this you, truck? Yes. What do you do all with it? Uh, palm trees. Palm trees. Yeah. What is this? What is this right here? That's a turbo booster. It's a turbo booster. That's pretty sweet. This This one thing right here gives you 600 extra horsepower. 600? 600. Who sure. makes that? Stockville. Okay. So you only get one of those per episode, right? When you hit the turbo boost? Yes. Yeah. It, well, what happens that. is you hit the turbo boost on this. Every time we use it, we got to replace it, put another one on. It's and this, this holds uh, liquid ice. Yeah. And that's how you one of a kind air conditioner blows it, I, I, I can hit a snow button and it'll actually blow snow snowflakes out of the out of the air vents. that's awesome you probably have to get that like in a from a glacier or something like in the door, I, door they fall. fly it in from alaska okay yeah that makes sense. and they literally the truck that puts this in here just to fill this up yep two hundred and fifty thousand dollars so yeah this is our uh this is our stock 2022 uh Freight liner, Freight liner ultra 70, sleeper, 77 ultra sleeper. That's 77 what I, yeah. ultra sleeper. It's 486 foot wheelbase. Wow, that's awesome. Well, we're gonna go check out some more trucks. Thanks, hey, man. man. Yeah, no it's problem. A beautiful man. ride. Thanks, we love man. it. Appreciate y'all, man. All right, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I have found Mr. Bruce Wilson himself driving a truck here. 
Hey, hey, is, you're Bruce Wilson, right? Yeah, that's what they call me. Uh, yeah. This, so this is my new rig. This is your new rig? Yeah, but we're, we're running we're running eastbound and down right now. We got some hot, hot freight. Hot freight? It's hot freight. Do not open the back doors. Don't open. Well, I admit, my, my now, battery just died, so I don't know. Now I, now I got to know. What, what in the world is in the back door? You better not look. Right, well, can I? I'm, well, well. Hopefully DOT will stop us. All right, guys. We found Evan's detail and polish his truck. I couldn't find Evan, but we found his driver. He was going to be willing to walk around and tell us a little bit about their ride. He's out walking around, probably wiping on something. But yeah. I'll, I know enough about it. I'll fill you in. So, what year is what, what kind of truck is this? So, this is an old Marmon. Okay. Um, the factory original color. Um, it's got brand new ceramic coat on it, which is why it's so shiny and it, it still looks great from the 70s. Yeah. Um, there's not many of these Marmons left, but uh, this one still looks pretty fresh and new. This thing mostly runs on electric. Uh, that's what all these extra wires and cables are in here. Yeah. Uh, this is strictly just for show and for looks. To okay. uh, I think they were called OmniStar motors or something. Right. Um, what kind of horsepower does I have? There's none. There's none no horse. horsepower. It's all electric. You know, how long have you been driving this thing? Um, so he's had me driving it for about nine years. Yeah. Um, Pretty much just carnival shows. Not not a whole lot of big money making stuff anymore. The right. tilt the world goes off the back of this thing. Okay. It actually hooks onto a ball hitch on the back. Uh, so sometimes when you go to a carnival and uh, you try to get it over a hill yep. or a little knoll, like if there's a rut somewhere, yep. you can actually adjust this to get it up and down to get it over those hills. I'm glad you, know. you guys got to see this yep. mostly electric. That's that's super awesome. Well, thank you. Have a good day. You guys stopping by, yes, sir. So I found the owners of this uh, this really nice like. I, what 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 color do you call this? It's um, go mango pink. Go mango pink. Wow, yeah. that's that's it's a beautiful wild. color. Yes. Wow, that's yeah. that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. What what year is this truck? It's uh, 2061, 389. It's a prototype. Oh, this is a prototype. Yeah, Peterbilt's way ahead of schedule. Wow. So you're just doing like some early testing for it. Yep. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's, I mean, I didn't even know they were out yet. I didn't know that was even a possibility. Uh, see, you, got, you guys got to know somebody in this industry. Wow, I wish I knew the people you knew. Well, we got connections. Lot. Dang, man, yeah. I would yeah. say, wow, that's really super special. So, yeah. tell yeah. me a little bit about, like, why you guys chose this strike job. Oh, well, we, we have a fish farm, okay. so we haul fish, fish door to door. Right. So, we have some Little swimmers them. everywhere. South African lime runners is what they're called. They're they're green fish, so we thought we'd incorporate the stripe with the with the fish. So you're fish breeders. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. We take them and sell them to fairs okay. for the children, and yeah. then you know we freeze Animals. them in little cubes. Yep. That's why we have the reefer unit. Okay. Freeze them in little ice cubes. You put them in your martini. Yeah. They thaw out and they start swimming around. I've really? seen those. It's like a tequila worm, green. but way better. I've wow. seen those little things. Yeah. That's yeah, like super lime green fish. They like yeah, it's in yeah. like a martini glass. They're little minis. Only yeah. if you're like super. That's that's a very exclusive thing, right? Yeah, they're like pure. Red. High dollar, high yeah. end. They come Only, with papers. Really? Usually, like the, the yeah. golf clubs, like the PGA Tour and stuff like that. They they they're all over. It. Yeah. Oh, they love that's pretty fish. cool. Yeah. And so that's how you guys came up with the colors of the truck, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just from your fish farming business. Yes. 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 Awesome. Yep. Well, thank you for talking to us about yes. your vehicle. Thanks. We love it. Yeah, and uh, enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, see you guys. Thanks. See ya. All right, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. Yeah, man, this has been the funnest car slash air hot air balloon show I've ever been to. Uh, it was it was amazing. This was it was a really good time. Some of the hot air balloons we saw were just awesome. I can't believe they can fit all that helium inside the trailers and it just lifts the whole thing up. Who'd have thunk it? I just it's so wild. Guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. That was so much fun making it. Everybody, it's pretty good humor there. And it was, uh, it was a ball. Like everybody took it real lighthearted. Uh, thank you to everybody who was in this video. You guys were awesome. That was a lot of fun. I hope we get to do these uh, like truck shows to come. Yeah. If y'all like this, tell us in the comments for real, because we, we had a good time making it. This, it was just this fun. This was an absolute blast. And it would, uh, I, I would enjoy making more of these at shows. Yeah, that was that was a good time. All right, you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, tell us in the comments. Do you like it when we're kind of silly? Or do you really like Semi-Casual being a very serious channel? 
Let it's us know. Semi casual. We're never really that serious. Yeah, it's it's called semi casual. Because it's really not that serious. Exactly. Because it's only half casual. Yep. Yeah. If you can't have fun, don't do it. Exactly. But anyway, guys, thanks for following along. Check out our website, and we'll see you next time. Later.